Remember here, I just press up. What's up everyone, it's Lee here, the rental guy from my shop. For those of you who don't know, I have a party rental business. As you can see, this is kind of the back end. Uh, this is the front end where we do linens. Then we have some offices up there and we have just a very small kind of showroom-esque area. So for those of you who know anything about a rental business uh, on a bigger scale or even a medium scale, uh, you know, if you're washing stuff in house, you need to have all the proper washing stuff. So I've been building my way up. Commercial glass washer, laundry, hopefully turning to a commercial laundry, triple sinks. When I moved in here, I always had this idea that I was gonna wash tents and hoist them up from the roof. And uh, you know, part of me didn't really believe myself and then I just one thing led to another and all of a sudden now we're hoisting tents up here and they're drip drying. So uh, this here is the first one that I've done. So I haven't uh, had it drip dry yet. It's gonna sit overnight and tomorrow I'm gonna take it down and fold it up. But um, basically I went to Viver online and I ordered for $200 Canadian, uh, two of those, uh, what are they, they're hoists that are wireless. There's a little wireless controller that I just taped onto here, right here. And basically they make this thing go up and down, right? Very simple stuff. Anyways, this is it. So uh, if you were thinking about doing tents, obviously I pressure wash them. So I've got a pressure washer here and uh, I hoist the tent tops up, tent walls up, tent gutters up, and then they drip into my uh, bay here. This is a dirt bay. So basically all the dirt goes, dirty water goes into this one and then the dirt stays at the bottom and then the water flows over here and then you clean out the dirt once or twice a year. Look at this wet floor. Uh, today, we're gonna be experimenting with my new contraption. I had to go out and rent a, a scissor lift so that I could hang, uh, well, what are those? Those are portable winches from the roof here. I've got two of them and they're remote controlled and they uh, uniformly go up with this radio controlled lever here. I just press up. And they go up. I'll press down. And they go down. All right, let's try some stuff out. I think we're gonna start with a tent wall and see how that goes. So I'll just find a dirty tent wall from right here, clip it up, spray it off. Well, it seems to be working pretty good. So let's start. Taking it up a little higher. She's off the ground. All right, so once I'm done washing something, uh, all I do is lay some tarps on the floor and then fold it up. Well, one clean gutter. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and try uh, a tent top, right? Because that's what we're all really wondering is about cleaning tent tops. So uh, let's get one of those. So anyways, uh, go over to my tents. Let's just grab a top right here and uh, we'll take this top over here and pull it out. Let's spray it down and uh, hoist it up and see how she hoists and sprays. Now, I really would have preferred this to be a 30 foot spacing. It just didn't work in the roof here, but we're gonna try it with a 20 foot spacing here and uh, we'll just see how it hangs. Hey, it works. Come look. What is it? Come 
my god. That's a 20 by 30 tent drip drying. Is I, that the top? Whoa. Yeah. <coughs> that's the top of a Ooh. 20 by 30? Yeah, that's the top of a 20 by 30. It's drip drying now. I hoisted it up on those electric hoists. Cool. So you'll just leave it hanging there overnight? Woo. Well, I'll pro- yeah, I don't know what I'll So anyways, that's my new toy. Um, I'm actually, I'm very pumped about it. That's my new toy and I'm quite pumped about it. Uh, stay tuned for next small video where I play around with this guy right here. What's this guy? This guy welds patches onto tents.